Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Fortnite emote dance music called Twist. Okay, so pretty awesome stuff. I quite like this one. Give you a preview of what it sounds like and what you're going to learn. Check it out. So it goes like this. The second half of it is my favorite, and I need to repeat it. Okay, you can actually make more like groovy and stuff later on after you get all the melody and chords right. You can do something like. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, let's get right into it. Melody and chords first because that's the foundation to everything and making other stuff more awesome. Okay, but anyways, here we go. Let's go ahead and break it up into how many parts? Uh, let me see, four parts, all right? So here we go. First part goes like this. Right hand starts on the C, one octave above middle C. Okay, middle C is here, right? So start on the C here. So it goes C, D, C, and then B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, down to F, G. And that's the first part. One more time, so it goes like this. It goes C, D, C, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, down to F, G. And that's it for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that, left hand we have two chords here. The two chords are, okay, it's two four note chords. It's A flat major seven, which is A flat C, E flat G. Okay, that's A flat major seven. And then the second chord is G minor seven, which is G, B flat, D, F. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so A flat major seven and G minor seven, the two hands together goes like this. So C and A flat major seven together. After B flat, G minor 7 by itself. Like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Here. Like that. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues. It goes B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, A flat, A flat. And that's the right hand for the second part. One more time, so it goes B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, A flat, A flat. And that's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords. It's the reverse of the first part. So it's just G minor seven as the first chord, which is G, B flat, D, F. And then the second reverses back to A flat major seven, which you know, A flat, C, E flat, G. Yeah, pretty simple stuff. But when you learn that pattern, okay? So B flat and G minor seven, it goes together for the second part. So together. After A flat, A flat major seven by itself. Like that. One more time, so it goes together. Here. And that's it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far when we play like this. So it goes. Awesome stuff. So that's the first two parts back to back. Moving on to my favorite parts, the third and fourth part. Okay, right hand goes up to the G here, down to C, up to F, down to B flat C, up to G, down to C, F, down to B flat C. And that's that for the third part. One more time for this third part. So it goes, I is G, down to C, up to F, down to B flat C, up to G, down to C, F, B flat C, like that. So like this, da 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 Awesome stuff, I love this part. Okay, the rhythm is really awesome here. Right hand, that's it for that. Left hand, we have the same two chords as the first part. If you recall that, that's A flat major seven, which is A flat C, E flat G. And second chord, once again, it's G minor seven, which is G, B flat, D, F. So with those two chords in mind that you know, the two hands together goes like this, G and A flat major seven together. So it's together, G and G minor seven together. And that's it. One more time like this, so together, together, like that. Moving on, okay. The fourth and last part is actually really simple because the right hand's actually exactly the same as the third part just then. So once again, it's da 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 Exactly the same as the third part. Nothing has changed for the right hand. However, the left hand has changed. It's just the reverse, the chord, just like the second part, right? It's G minor seven to A flat major seven for the left hand for this fourth part. And you put it exact same places and you have this fourth part like this. Easy, right? It's just that. It's reversed of the third part pretty much, of the chords only, okay? But the right hand's kept the same, okay? Yeah, these patterns are really important because it allows you to learn stuff a lot quicker instead of just like dead remember the notes step like uh, without really understanding the patterns, okay? But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for the fourth part. So back to back, all four parts will be played like this, check it out, so. Awesome stuff, right? 
Okay, after you get this, our melody chords very good. Then you can start applying left temp improvisational patterns to make it sound more interesting. You can do octave and then jumps and then like descending stuff, like for what I did. Okay, so you can be like. Pretty much it. So if you want to learn how to do all this kind of stuff, how to like make improvisations on the spot and like learn how to do all these patterns, then you can actually learn it from my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. Yeah, you learn out a lot of stuff. You learn how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you want to learn all these other uh, Fortnite um, dances on piano, you can because on my channel I literally actually made every single Fortnite dance there is on the channel so there's a playlist just for that you can search it up if you can't find it just go to the channel and you can actually find it from the playlist tabs as well okay but anyway yeah that's pretty much it check out the rest of my channel I literally have multiple thousands of other stuff for you to enjoy as well and yeah that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time I'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.